I'm Chris with Tactical Aviation. Thunderstorms can be very dangerous for all aircraft, especially small UAS, because of their light weight. A thunderstorm is a rain shower in which you can hear thunder. Since you can hear thunder, that also means there is lightning. What most people don't know about thunderstorms is that they consist of two types of lightning. The first and most popular type of lightning is cloud to ground lightning. In cloud lightning makes up the majority of all lightning discharges. This type of lightning never meets the ground, instead it jumps from cloud to cloud. Hail is another condition during thunderstorms that can cause damage. Supercooled drops above the freezing level begin to freeze. Once a drop has frozen, other drops latch on and freeze to it. So the hailstone grows, sometimes into huge ice balls. Large hail occurs with severe thunderstorms, usually built to great heights. Eventually the hailstones fall possibly some distance from the storm core. Hail has been observed in clear air several miles from the thunderstorm. The most violent thunderstorms draw air into a cloud base. If the incoming air has any initial rotation motion, it often forms an extremely concentrated vortex from the surface well into the cloud. This will result in tornadic activity. Cumulonimbus clouds that form in a continuous line are non-frontal bands of thunderstorms or squall lines. A wind gust during a thunderstorm can be over 120 miles per hour. For a thunderstorm to form, the air must have sufficient water vapor, an unstable lapse rate, and an initial upward boost to start the storm process in motion. A thunderstorm cell during its life cycle progresses through three stages, the cumulus, the mature, and the dissipating. Although most cumulus clouds do not grow into thunderstorms, Every thunderstorm begins as a cumulus. The key feature of the cumulus stage is continuous updraft. Precipitation beginning to fall from the cloud base is your signal that a downdraft has developed and a cell has entered the mature stage. Thunderstorms reach their greatest intensity during the mature stage. Duration of the mature stage is closely related to the severity of the thunderstorm. Downdrafts characterize the dissipating stage of the thunderstorm cell. Air mass thunderstorms most often result from surface heating. When the storm reaches the mature stage, rain falls through or immediately besides the updraft. Falling precipitation induces frictional drag, retards the updraft, and reverses it to a downdraft. The storm is self-destructive. The downdraft and cool precipitation cool the lower portion of the storm and the underlying surface. Thus, it cuts off the inflow of the water vapor. The storm runs out of energy. Steady state thunderstorms usually are associated with weather systems. Fronts, converging winds, and troughs aloft force upward motion, spawning these storms, which often form into squall lines. Afternoon heating intensifies them. Here is a couple questions you might see on your exam. What feature is normally associated with the cumulus stage of a thunderstorm? A. Roll cloud. B frequent lightning, or C, continuous updraft. C, continuous updraft. Thunderstorms reach their greatest intensity during the A, downdraft stage, B, mature stage, or C, cumulus stage. B, mature stage. Thank you, and I'll see you next lesson.